Britain's railways have raised their fares as of the new year, causing some public controversy. The average increase this year for train tickets is 2.8 percent. That's actually the smallest rise in four years, according to a rail operator. Commuters will be most greatly affected. Some gathered at London's King's Cross station to protest, but others think the fare hike is acceptable. Lifestyles has more. Rises in rail fare in Britain are calculated according to the inflation rate. Since 2004, the British government has required that the average price hikes have to stay under retail price index plus one percent. In the autumn statement in early December, Chancellor George Osborne said he will keep the rail fares in line with July's RPI inflation rate, which was 3.1 percent. Some fares, like season tickets, anytime tickets, and off-peak tickets, have risen by 3.1 percent, meaning an annual transportation for a few commuters will cost up to 5,000 pounds more. I think it's ridiculous. Like we spend a lot anyway on taxes. Like, people are taxed so much and it's ridiculous. I don't think it affects my daily life so much because I, obviously I don't use the train so much, but it does, I will find other ways to avoid like going on the trains anyway because they're so busy and so packed and I will avoid going on them, plus the fact that they are really expensive. However, part of the public think that rice won't affect their travel that much. I think it's acceptable, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to make a lot of difference because, well, people don't want to pay more for tickets. So I think more and more people will like, start um, not using the train and instead start walking to places or like, taking other transportation like buses. Well, although the price rises, we, can't, we can do nothing but to use it. So in a way, if you want to get there, you have to use it. So, I think it doesn't really matter that much in that sense. Since the British railways were privatized in the 1990s, the rail fares have risen just about every year. The General Secretary of the Trade Unions Congress thinks that privatized railways are not as efficient and cost-effective as the owners promised, and passengers and taxpayers haven't been served well. More than 50 cross-party members of parliament have already signed a parliamentary motion asking the government to re-nationalize the rail industry. Rail delivery groups said no one is willing to pay more to take trains, especially those who go to work every day by train. They say the ticket price rise is used to raise funds to improve rail services. Rail Delivery Group has planned to invest 40 billion U.S. dollars in the next five years to improve the British rail network. This is CNC World, a new perspective.